This week, EA sends Mass Effect 3 into space for real. Ubisoft announces a sequel no one should be surprised is coming. Sony is shutting down servers for one of its console exclusives, and Capcom reveals more information about Resident Evil 6. I'm Handsome Tom, and welcome to the Game Heroes Weekly News. The much-anticipated Mass Effect 3 is only weeks away from release. EA is getting ready for the game's launch by sending copies into space. A week before the release, Weather Balloons carrying the game will be launching from New York City, San Francisco, Las Vegas, Berlin, London, and Paris. Each game will have a GPS system which can be tracked on the Mass Effect website. When the balloon lands, whoever finds it can keep a copy early of the game. It's pretty interesting for EA to promote one of the biggest games of the year this way. Hopefully it won't end the same way THQ's Balloon Fast fiasco promotion happened with Homefront. Hope you're all sitting down for this new story. We're about to surprise you with the biggest sequel of the year. Last week, Ubisoft announced Assassin's Creed 3 will be coming this fall. All right, so maybe after four straight years of Assassin's Creed releases, it's not that much of a surprise to anyone. Ubisoft says they've been working on the title for three years and it'll be the last entry in Desmond Miles' storyline. They also announced the release date of October, October 30th. Well, there you have it. We're finally getting an official third game in the series, and it's not another spin-off. No news on where this is going or what time place it's going to happen in, but I'm sure information is going to trickle out in the next few months. Sony announced it will be closing down servers to 2008 Metal Gear Solid 4. Servers officially shut down on June 12th. However, all the DLC for Metal Gear Online will be available free on April 24th until the servers shut down. Sadly, character creation will also shut down at that time. There you have it, Sony shutting down online servers for one of its bigger exclusives. But here's a question, does anyone even play that game anymore? One of the biggest game announcements this year has been Resident Evil 6 that's coming this fall. Since that announcement, Capcom's been slowly releasing information about the game. This week, Capcom revealed some interesting changes to the gameplay like moving and shooting. Yeah, you heard it right. The series is finally moving into the 21st century and you'll be able to move and shoot at the same time. The game will also see the return of zombies, the primary enemy, which we already knew. These zombies apparently won't be infected by the T-Virus from earlier Resident Evil games. And I'm just still shocked that you can actually move and shoot in a Resident Evil game. Who would have thought? And finally, here's this week's new game releases. Tuesday, the following games will be hitting store shelves. Capcom Wackies, or, or Capcom's Azura's Wrath will be hitting Xbox 360 and PS3. The FPS reboot of the classic PC game Syndicate will be available on the 360, PS3, and PC and Fractured Soul will be available on the DS. For more kick-ass content, please go to thegameheroes.com. I'm Handsome Tom, we'll see you guys again next time.